in the following lecture, we're going to discuss uh, what's going to happen when AlCl3 reacts with water or when you try to dissolve AlCl3 in water. So the basic reaction that would happen is that AlCl3, when you mix it in water or when you dissolve it in an aqueous solution, it dissociates and aluminum ions and Cl ions are formed. And these aluminum ions are roaming around in water and Cl ions are also roaming around in water. And uh, what would happen is that these aluminum ions are not just roaming around on their own. Uh, what happens is these aluminum ions are polar and they're going to start attracting water molecules from all sides. Now this picture over here represents uh, a much better version of what's happening when aluminum ions, uh, these positively charged ions when they're roaming around in water. Now water is a polar molecule where you have these oxygen with its lone pairs and this highly electronegative oxygen that is going to have this negative charge and the negative charge part of the water molecule will be attracted to these aluminum ions. So all these water molecules which were roaming around so, for example, these uh, water molecules which were roaming around, the negative charge part of the water molecule will get attracted to this aluminium because it's positively charged and it's going to get attracted to it. And it's going to form these dative coordinate bonds. Uh, the lone pairs would be attracted to this. So, all these water molecules will be sticking to this aluminium ion. So, this aluminium ion would not be just alone and roaming around. All these water molecules, it would be carrying these water molecules. And the water molecules will be coming from all sides. Uh, one from the top, one from the bottom, one from the right side, one from the left side, one from the front, one from the back side. So, all six sides of aluminium ions are going to be surrounded by a water molecule. And six water molecules would be surrounding it. So, this is the representation, the compressed notation of this complex ion that is formed when water molecules stick to this aluminum ion. And it would be written as AlH2O6, which means that six water molecules are surrounding it. And the overall charge is going to be 3 plus because uh, aluminum is uh, plus 3 and water is neutral. So the overall charge is going to be 3 plus. So this is the complex ion that is going to be formed. Now the next thing that is going to happen is, uh, that this complex ion would start hydrolyzing. What that means is that the H is positive and the aluminum ion is strongly positive. So you can notice this strong positive charge. So the positive part of the water molecule is going to be strongly, it's going to get strongly repelled. So these positive H, H's would break off and they would, they would break down and they would produce these H plus one ions because of the repulsion. So all these water molecules, their hydrogens are going to get knocked away because of the positive charge on this aluminum ion. It's going to exert a large amount of repulsion and they're going to break off. So uh, another H might break off from this side because of repulsion. The H would get knocked out and H plus one ions would be formed. And uh, the same would pretty much happen with another H and it's going to get knocked away as well. And it's going to form H plus one ions. So all those H, uh, they've knocked away, they've left their electrons because the electrons would be attracted to this positive ion over here. The positive H is the one that's getting repelled. So you have these OH minus one, the water breaks down into OH minus one, OH minus one, OH minus one, and the H plus one have been knocked away. So the next part of the reaction is if we write an equation. So the reaction is going to be that the aluminum that was previously surrounded by six water molecules, it's breaking down. Uh, the H's in water are getting knocked away. So all these hydrogens, they're getting knocked away. Uh, and what's left is this complex ion over here, which is Al. Now it's surrounded by three water molecules and three of the hydrogens have been knocked away. Uh, so OH minus one uh, have been formed. Uh, the water loses its H. The H plus one are produced in solution. So these are aqueous solution and that results in a very strongly acidic medium. This is going to form a solid precipitate whereas this is going to form uh, an acidic solution. So this is what happens when aluminum chloride dissolves in water. So white solid precipitate of this thing forming and a strongly acidic solution. So this hydrolysis happens very, very strongly. Uh, so I'm going to now uh, describe again, just briefly go over what's, uh, what are the reactions that are happening. The first step is aluminum chloride dissolves in water. Remember, uh, this ion the better way to represent this ion over here is this thing over here, AlH2O6, 3 plus is going to be formed. All the aluminum ions are formed, but the aluminum ions are going to completely get surrounded by water molecules, six water molecules, and this complex ion is going to be formed. Uh, and in the next step, uh, the complex ion, the strongly positive aluminum is going to knock away these hydrogens, positive hydrogens, and they're going to get lost as H plus one ions. So the next reaction that would happen is that the complex ion would start dissociating. The H would get knocked away, three hydrogens getting knocked away. And you're going to get this solid precipitate of aluminum hydroxide and a very strongly acidic solution.